Phil Vetrano is convinced Chanel Lewis is a born killer. As an angry, violent boy, he told the teacher he wanted to bring a knife to school and kill all the girls. As an angry, violent man, he made good on that threat. The night he killed the brightest light in the world, my baby girl. Today, he, his wife Kathy, and their surviving children urged the judge to sentence Lewis to a life behind bars for the death of their beloved Karina. After he had already killed, he searched on his phone how to forcibly rape someone. Earlier this month, Lewis was found guilty of murdering and sexually abusing 30-year-old Karina Vetrano while she was out for a run in Howard Beach in 2016. Vetrano's mother condemned Lewis in court. While we suffered and died a million deaths every second of every day, you breathed, you ate, you searched your phone for pornography. You are, you are, and you remain true to your character as a pathetic, evil coward. Lewis's mother and family sent letters of support to the judge and did not speak in court. Lewis had confessed on tape to killing Vetrano, but today he denied it. Uh, one thing I want to say, judge, is that I'm innocent. I'm sorry for the family's loss, but I didn't do this. Lewis was unemotional, yawning as Judge Michael Eloise sentenced him to life in prison without parole. Shame on you! After the sentencing, Lewis's mother and his supporters were seen following the prosecuting attorneys, accusing the district attorney's office and Judge Eloise of racial bias. I'm here to represent my, my son, son yes, and right. I will keep fighting for yes, Chanel. Yes, In the name of Jesus, I will keep on fighting until the last Amen. breath Amen. leave Amen. my body. Today, everybody got justice. Karina got justice and the murderer got his justice. As the judge said in court, this is a lose-lose for both families and the emotional journey is not over. Janelle Lewis's attorneys say they plan to appeal. In the newsroom, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News.